Yo, guys, it's Pedro here, and it is game day Sunday night football against the New York Giants, and I want to just give you guys a quick injury update on Chase Young and also Benjamin St. Juice. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Super close, so please help me get there. Hit that like button and that notification bell as well. So this is going to be a quick video. You know, wanted to get out earlier by having Wi-Fi issues game day. About three and a half hours from now, super, super excited, a little nervous as well. Hopefully, the commanders can get the win. But someone will, who will not be able to play on the field and help them win today will be commanders pass rusher Chase Young, uh, who is listed as questionable, is not expected to make his say, uh, season debut tonight. This is what Ian Rapport is saying. After meeting with Coach Ron Rivera, all parties are on the same page about the plan. Okay, it is. I, I will have a full video you know, giving my frustrations about this situation. Not just, it's not really towards Chase Young. It's more towards the situation. The way that the media has been painting the narrative, the coaches as well, every week saying the same thing. Like last night I tweeted out, okay, we're about to get the incoming Chase Young is not going to play, but is very close and will make his debut in the near future tweet. And that's what happened. We got it today in the morning because it is a Sunday night game, but he's out. My, my frustration with it, and let's we'll get into that John Kime tweet in a second, is more like this, okay? On November 15th, Adam Schefter says, uh, sources, Chase Young, the former number two pick in the 2020 draft who was named NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, is expected to be activated this week to play Sunday in his first game since tearing blah, 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 a boost for Washington D. So Adam Schefter, who doesn't usually do stuff like this. And same thing with the Ian Rapport. They only say stuff if they actually mean it. And they were saying that he's making his debut on November 15th. That's over a month ago, guys. That's over a month ago that he was expected to make his debut and didn't. I don't know if this is... And I, I, before, I was more leaning towards, okay, maybe like Chase Young and his agent sent out that you know information to... Adam Schefter and company to put it out so that they could go out and play. But now I'm thinking of the opposite. I think the team is like, okay, he's clearly ready and he's just not, uh, you know, ready yet mentally, I guess. But the thing is, you're not going to be mentally ready, ready ever until you play on the field. You step on the field and you actually make a play. And I tweeted yesterday about this kind of saying like, you know, I don't know how you cannot think this Chase Young injury situation is at least a little bit weird and someone said well i get your point but they had to put them on the because i said you know let me just let me just read the tweet right here let me just read the tweet um right here so i said i'm sorry but some of you guys got to stop acting like chase uh, this chase young situation is normal his pup practice window opened eight weeks ago they clearly clearly expected him to play by now okay and then someone in the comments said something to the extent of my Wi-Fi is slow, so I can't really see it. What they were saying, well, they had to activate him um, or else the season's over. Well, at one point, yes, that's true. But at starting his 21-day window, practice window, they could have done that whenever they wanted to. They could have done that whenever they wanted to. And they decided to do it maybe like, what, week seven? And then after that, that's when the 21-day window starts. So they could have done it whenever they wanted to. They decided to do week seven. And then after that, maybe week seven, week eight. And after that, they only had they had 21 days to activate him. That is what happened. So they clearly thought he was going to be ready to play earlier. And this injury just keeps, you know, delaying and delaying and delaying his comeback. And again, my issue with it is more not necessarily Chase Young not playing. But how they like, just say he's not going to play at the start of the week. Don't have these optimistic quotes, stuff like that. I mean, the national media have been saying it for a while that, you know, oh, he's going to make his debut this week, blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, Rivera's like, oh, he's super close. We're really optimistic. He's made some really good strides. And this is the same thing every week. And that's why yesterday when I was streaming, I was like, I don't think he's playing today because we're like, I've got to see something different before I predict him to play because it's been the same thing for the last four weeks. So just a very, very interesting situation in my opinion. Like 
I don't care how you you know slice it. it you know, it could just you know not be Chase Young's fault at all, and it probably isn't. But there's no way you can't see that this is a weird situation. Like something about this is off. Whether he had a setback or he just really doesn't want to play, he's scared of you know re-injuring his injury. Like something's happened, guys. Something has happened. And I don't know. It's a little frustrating. Uh, you know, number two overall pick. You want to see him out there on the field, but we're gonna have to wait at least till next week to see him on the field. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I know some people in the chat or in the comments are still gonna be like, well, "You're being too hard on him," and I'm not being hard on him. I, I'm more frustrated with the situation, with how it's being reported. And how every week it's the same thing. You know, he's, he's going to play. Then by the middle of the week, it's a little less optimistic. And by Friday, Saturday, it's like, okay, he's not playing. Like, come on. Just tell me in the beginning of the week. You could have told me four weeks ago he wasn't playing. But I don't think they knew that. And that's why they, you know, started his 21-day window eight weeks ago or whenever that was. So, yeah, that's just a quick video. Benjamin St. Juice, that injury. Uh, they still don't know if he's going to play. Uh, I I think it's a little over 50% chance. We'll see when the inactives and actives come out at around 6.30, what really, ha or I guess 6.45, when that really happens. We'll see what happens there. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace.